Inspiration is a fuel that can surround every person involved. Whether you have an inkling of love and passion in your heart that yearns for something more, or you're an artistic dreamer, you may feel inspired to do certain things. In times of sorrow and hardship, I find myself lacking the feeling of being inspired. I don't have the fuel that I need to keep going or to push forward to do more. Or, according to NCBI, inspiration is a motivational state that compels individuals to bring ideas into fruition. Creators have long argued that inspiration is important to the creative process, but until recently, scientists have not investigated this claim. But sometimes we lose that feeling, and sometimes we can't exactly capture what we want to. Hence. I've felt this way very majorly lately. I haven't felt inspired. I didn't feel inspiration for anything. I felt like nothing was driving me or pushing me in a certain direction. I was trying to work, or I wanted to, but I couldn't. It felt like I couldn't do anything that I wanted. That spark was totally void. You know, no creativity, no work drive, no motivation. The only things that were inspiring me was a roaring stomach and the continued watching on my TV. I find myself in a lifestyle that relies almost entirely on my creativity creative process and how I'm feeling. My passion, and part of my life, is based on this brain working correctly and this brain seeing colors. If I can't turn on that computer and put my thoughts into words, or think, I'm cooked. It's wraps. Call it a day. It's over. Losing your spark, your tint of inspo is something that can be caused by many different things. Sometimes it can be random, or it can come from major events, responsibilities, or a lick of time where you feel like you can't focus on what you want to anymore. Simply put, stress, a lack of energy, lack of ambition, no focus, nothing moves you. There are many ways you can feel this way depending on the cards you're dealing with. And if you aren't even sure what it is, trying to grab that back can be an even bigger battle than before. Self-sabotage, mental health, focus. Point is, there's a lot of ways you can get that taken away, and for me, while it was mainly caused by responsibilities and life relations, I thought all hope was lost. For now. There wasn't a chance that I was going to get it back in this very moment. Until one night, I was watching a concert with my buddy online. I was singing, rocking back and forth, and that's what hit me. I, I felt it. I felt inspired. I don't know if it was the music or pretending I was at a concert because of my surround sound and my LEDs, but for the first time in a minute, I felt it. Inspiration. Hey, I was there. Yeah, shh. I think for me, what hit me so hard was seeing another artist present themselves in a way that I always wished to. And for once, forgetting about what external issues were parading me, and I let what I loved speak to me for a night instead. I hadn't done that for a while, and when I finally did, I felt something different. I felt like doing something. Instead of basking in what I had to deal with and telling myself, I can't do this, I must literally force myself to sit, shut up, and enjoy a virtual concert, because to me, the art that I appreciate and enjoy, in its most raw, presented form, is what has always inspired me. Now, don't get me wrong, I'm not saying escapism and forcing a distraction is what healed me from my drought, but breathing and basking in raw honesty of something that was always a trigger definitely helped, because for me, music, and especially performances, have always been my biggest inspiration. I feel a shock when I enjoy it. It's like my whole world takes a temporary 180 and I get hit with that adrenaline boost that tells me, this is what you love, right? Well, go and get it. And I feel like with inspiration, every person can have that little shock. Most people have a trigger of something that can make the gears turn in their head and the stars appear in their eyes. I guess the question is, what is it? Well, while researching the ethics of inspiration, it goes along a few ways. According to this guy and Sawyer, inspiration can be a feeling within the context of motivation and creativity like an aha! That feeling of the light bulb appearing above your head, or my spark of artistic ambition, as I mentioned before. We emphasize that, according to our conceptualization, inspiration is not posited to be the source of creative ideas. Instead, inspiration is a motivational response to creative ideas. Thus, inspiration remains the transmission, not the origin, of creativity. So, when it comes to the pathway of being inspired, what is your tick, and how do we get it back? Have you ever felt like you lost inspiration? Well, I used to think I could never lose inspiration because I create stuff every day, like art and music. Mm -hmm. But you can tell when a work of art is more or less inspired. You can see it in the lines, the effort and soul put into something. I felt loss of inspiration and I've seen it through a lack of expressiveness through my creative decisions. Yeah. Yeah, I felt like I've lost inspiration. Could be... 
something small, like, you know, you've had a bad day. Could be something big, like your sister dies. These things, they come and go. If we are unable to control our emotions or our circumstances, and that can possibly lead to the evaporation of our motivation, it can lead you to seek for answers and see exactly how you solve it and how we can do better. If it isn't a spark, like you don't have a spark the way I do, some people can treat it like a grocery list. Learn something new. Let your mind wander. I mean, I kind of did this one. Appreciating other people's work potentially having role models, collaboration, and changing your mindset. I found another way my creativity blossomed is if I shared that experience with other people, like this list says. If I can't do it alone, engaging in conversation with another person is always knocked the way I wanted it to. Hey, can we talk about this exact topic I'm interested in, or like wanna artistically indulge in? No. And like clockwork, having your mind think about it in a conversational exchange can possibly strengthen that bond on how inspired you really are, but artistic appreciation and collaboration are my sparks. They're how I have found my way of recovering that love. Can they work for you as well? The definition of inspiration is the process of finding new ideas, and it carries the sense that you can't control or contain it, and they relate it to wind or air. Like it's something that you truly can't put a pin on or scientifically research. It's not something you could put in a bottle or reserve for later. How did you get it back? Well, Art imitates life, and I found gaining back inspiration revolves a lot on how you are as a human being, like bringing inspiration into your life, like experiencing things that make you have the desire to create. Yeah, yeah, you know, I, I wish, uh, I, I knew the answer to that. The best I can say is, time doesn't fix everything, but it gets close. It's not talent that makes the difference. More often than not, it's tenacity and keeping in the race. I feel like I lose motivation very consistently and one of the easiest ways for me personally to get back onto the grind and to regain motivation is through some kind of media consumption, be it through reading books, engaging with cyberpunk stuff, looking at other media, other artists. A lot of times I take inspiration and I take motivation from seeing other people do really cool things and that's a way that I kind of keep myself going and motivated to continue creating art and continue creating content is through a lot of seeing other people's works. Inspiration can be a key light in your day-to-day -day life or your creative process. Letting yourself feel a strong desire and appreciation for what you want can help your own process in so many ways. Hell, I mean, it can even be stretched to maintaining a cash register or finding out how to cook your eggs in the morning. In a way, discussing it with myself in front of this script was my key to reigniting that feeling I had temporarily lost. It was totally gone, but if I talk about it being gone and research it on my own, it kind of spawns it but there can be a spark and if not a spark there are a multitude of ways to try to burn that flame the way it was burning long in your heart before let it speak on a canvas or a program or the way you're balancing your cardio today